In activity 4b, we need to open two files. We need to open the add amber here file, and we need to open the amber to add file. And when you open both of them in the GIMP, you should end up with some tabs across the top. If you don't, please make sure that your windows are in single window mode. Once you have that ready to go, I want just to pause for a second because the original New Brunswick Broad-Based Technology website has a photo editing unit that we're following and we're translating into the GIMP. But for Activity 4B, they have some great um, first two videos that discuss how to choose images before you Photoshop them together. For instance, um, for this activity, you'll see here, this I'll just pause that, that they're going to have one picture here, and then there's two choices. And this choices um, should be fairly obvious, and then the students will choose this choice so that their final product looks something like that. They start with these two images and finish with that. Now, we're going to choose different images, and um, but I want to leave it to be said that the images that have been chosen for us, these two pictures, are actually pictures that I would never choose to Photoshop together simply because they were taken in really different lighting conditions and have different backgrounds that are reflecting on them or making life more complicated for us. So for instance, this, this picture was taken on a cloudy day. This picture was taken on a bright sunny day. And therefore, I would never put them together. But what we're going to do first is we're going to say, that being said, Let's lasso Amber out, and I'm just going to do a quick lasso. I'm not going to worry very much about getting into the details right now. And once I lasso Amber out, I'm going to include the Canada flag, which we can choose to remove later. And when I get back to where I start from, then it will select, and you can see the moving line selects. And I'm going to say copy and go over to my other document and say paste. And you'll also notice that you could say paste as new layer, which will result in the same thing because when I paste, there's a floating selection and I create a new layer. So once you've got that and I can go to my move tool, the four blue arrows, and I can move her around and see what we've got, then you're ready for the next video.